Hey, hey fam, today is Saturday. I'm headed to Austin to meet up some of the members of our group, Peel M Hoopers. And we are going to chat about their basketball journey, how did they get started, and why do they play. Your name, where you from, and how old are you? Yeah, uh, so my name is Richard Sarmiento. I'm from Tyler, Texas, so I'm from East Texas. I uh, grew up there my whole life, uh, and then moved uh, to Colorado, and I'm now here in Austin for six years. You consider yourself Austinites now? Uh, Texan, but like... Texan? Sure, an Austinite. I'd say so. So how did you find out about this group? Uh, surprisingly, one of my friends, MJ. Uh, I actually bought some basketball shoes to wear to an Austin FC game. And I asked MJ if there was any, like, hey, do you know any groups that play basketball? And then, I think coincidentally, this group was founded like the same, or, I don't know, like that, that same month is I think the first time like a lot of people met. Uh, what motivates you to play basketball or what? What give you inspiration to start playing basketball? <laughs> uh, I'm getting old and I want to see if I still got it. I used to play back in college. Uh, soccer was my number one sport. And learning a new sport, basketball, way different. Coordination, uh, anti, yeah, anti coordination, agility, teamwork. There's only five of you, where in soccer you have 11 and you can take breaks. Basketball, I don't know. My mindset's you gotta go all out. Right. It's fun. Like, right. I, I enjoy basketball. And I, I don't know, I, I stopped for so long, but then playing with y'all, I mean, one, I kept hurting myself, kept rolling my ankles, uh, but now I'm at a point to where I feel healthy, I feel strong. Yeah, it's just, basketball is just, right. basketball is life. Why do I play basketball? Stay in shape. Uh, I don't know, prove to myself that I can actually be good at this one. Right. I feel like I've gotten to a point to where I can make a lot of good steals. I've seen that. Good steals, good runs, lots of cuts. Facilitating, I want to get back to where I was in college where I was, I was making shots. Right. And I think in game, I'm a little scared and so I, know, I want to improve on that. So that's, I don't know, it's a, it's, a, it's a mindset thing. Do you have any message to the people that like trying to get into basketball late? Have a positive mindset. If you're not good, and you know you're not good, except where you are now, just know you're gonna get better. All right, Richard, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Hi, I'm MJ Tanganan. I am from Austin, originally from Philippines, and I'm 33. And single. Oh, yeah. I like long walks at the beach. What do you do for a living? I'm a designer for a tech company, and I also freelance for a bunch of sports people that plays basketball and football. Mainly Nike people. Do you have any message out there that's trying to be a, be a product designer like you? Uh, my biggest advice is put your work out there. Uh, don't be scared. Like uh, That's how I freaking got like my projects out there, just like posting it and like uh, showing it to people and just basically like putting your name out there and reach out to the, all the people that you want to work with. And I mean, some of it, they're, they're going to reply back and some are going to say no, but you just got to keep moving forward and just put yourself out there. What made you playing basketball? Um, so when me and my brother was growing up in Philippines, like it was our dad's sport and like we kind of like uh, wanted to hang out with him a lot more and like learn about him and my uncle's sports and like Next thing we know, me and my brother uh, started playing basketball outside our house because someone put a basketball right. court at the street. So, you know, that's how we start. We literally played on the streets. Why do you play basketball now? I play basketball now just so like for health reasons, so I can like run around and like do cardio, um, hang out with like people like-minded like me uh, that just enjoys playing sports. like and it's just like a good camaraderie of like friends and like 
people that love loves the sports. Mm -hmm. All time top three NBA player, um, it would be Kobe, Carmelo Anthony, and Damian Lillard. If I could play with anyone one on one, uh, I would play with Steph Curry, just because I just want to see how to shoot that far of a three and just to test out if I can reach it. But that's that's would be my one-on-one. -on -one. Last one, do you have any message out there for the people? For the people? Yeah. Um, keep playing hoops and keep shooting your shot. <laughs> thank you, man, thank you. Where are you from? Pangalan mo, how old are you? Uh, I'm from Maynard, Sherwin. Sherwin? How old are you? 30. 30? So, what made you play basketball? Uh, my dad taught me uh, when I was a kid and then when I was in high school, mm -hmm. I used to play. Uh, Sa kalye? Uh, Sa kalye. Yeah. Kalye lang. Tondo. Yeah. Yeah, laking tondo. I grew up in Tondo, Manila. And why do you play basketball now? Uh, just for a hobby and then, of course, uh, I love basketball. Since, since I was a kid. Who yeah. are top three NBA player? Mo? All time, best. First Kobe, then LeBron, then uh, Michael Jordan. What do you for a living? Um, I'm, I'm a teacher. Teacher? My high teacher. School? High, high school teacher? High school teacher, yeah. Okay. I bet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, you have any message out there to the people? Hi guys, keep playing basketball. You will love it, guys. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Brady Patterson, I'm 32 years old and I'm from Lima, Ohio. What made you start playing basketball? I've been playing basketball since I was about five, six years old. Basketball is everything up in Ohio, so I played all through high school and then my freshman year of college. What do you do for a living? I'm a product designer. Do you have any message out there that's trying to be a, be a product designer like you? I would say stick to your intuition, stay young, and stay creative. So why do you play basketball now? I play basketball for cardio now. I'm washed, I'm old, so I, I love to stay young and, and stay fit. All right, Brady, thank you very much, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Your name, how old are you and where you're from? Uh, Angelo, uh, 34 now, and originally Manila, Philippines, now in Austin. What made you start playing basketball? Uh, favorite sport growing up. Um, that's been what I grew up with, and that's what I like to do. What do you do for a living? Uh, I do, I design college courses for Latimer colleges. No, wait, I'm in Austin now. Austin is community college. Why do you play basketball now? Uh, why do I play basketball now? It's mostly for exercise. I'm getting old. I just want to make sure that I'm still in tip top shape as much as I can. Do you have any message to young hoopers out there? Uh, keep going. If you're Filipino, play in the Asian leagues. Don't play in, in American League, so you're not gonna make it. <laughs> Ayo, salamat. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is Gene. Uh, I moved from Boston about two years ago. And now, right now, we're in Austin, me and my family. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a course reviewer at ACC, so that's a lo local college in, in Austin. Do you have any message to the people that are trying to be in your work area? In my work? You know, get an, get an education, start getting some experience in schools, whether it's middle school, high school, and then work your way up to eventually go to work for a college. And having a, you know, a bachelor's and master's will definitely help with that process as well. So what made you start playing basketball? Uh, back in Boston, uh, my family and I moved from uh, Miami. So there was a guy at church who thought I was tall. Right. So he took the time to, you know, basically pick me up every Sunday to, to play basketball. And that was about sophomore years of high school. So he, you know, he basically picked me up every Sunday and kind of taught me how to play basketball from there. What do you play basketball now? Uh, I just fell in love with the game. And it's, it's sort of therapy to me now. And uh, I get to really focus in and work with other people and lead them to victory, which is what I love doing. Do you have any message to younger Hooper out there? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, continue working hard. If you aspire to play D1, it's going to take a lot, a lot of work. And consistency is the key. It's not just somebody, something that somebody says, you know, that people say. You actually have to put in a lot of work to work your way up and really fall in love with the game because that's, that's what's going to lead you to make the sacrifices and keep going day in and day out to, you know, go work out, to work on your shot. 
to build on your strength and work your weaknesses uh, to build on that and get better overall. And last thing I'll say is try to get better at something every single day. Yeah. Man, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you very much. <laughs> no that was a good message out there. Your name, how old are you, and where are you from? Uh, I'm Sharence. I'm 27, and I'm from Atlanta. Uh, what made you start playing basketball? Uh, I mean, I was always like, I played a lot of sports when I was younger, mm -hmm. and uh, I just fell in love with basketball more. But that was my favorite sport growing up. So just played every every day in my driveway. So that's how I fell in love with it. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a software developer. Do you have any message to the uh, people that want to be on a software developer? I know you just gotta grind. Yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I got the job. Just do you, does it? <laughs> I mean, why do you play basketball now? Uh, I mean, it's just, it's like my favorite hobby to do. Mm. It's my, like, honestly, I'm kind of obsessed with basketball. Mm. I like watch, I watch the NBA all the right. time. Mm. And then I play every Saturday, so it's, uh, it's just my hobby. <laughs> do you have any message to Hooper out there? The young hoopers or like Filipino hoopers like us? Uh, you just gotta grind. That's it. <laughs> Keep fighting. Let's go. Bobby Dixon from Austin. What do you do for a living? Uh, graphic designer, creative director. Do you have any message uh, to the younger people that try to be into a uh, designer? Yeah, just go out there and do it. Create. It doesn't matter if it's for a client, friend or family. If, you know, if it's just for yourself, just put out the work. What made you play basketball? It's the love of the game. I mean, like, I can't see myself not playing the game. Uh, it's meeting friends, teammates, uh, friends that I have for life I've met on the basketball court. So, do you have any other sports besides basketball? Cycling. Do a lot of outdoor cycling, road cycling, Peloton. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Mark. Shout out to Bobby. Keep Give the cadence the up. In. Shout out to Jamarius. Keep the cadence up. <laughs> so what do you, why do you play basketball now? Mostly for my health, but still, it's like, it's a, it's an outlet, you know, okay. like, uh, to stay in shape for one, but it's like I was saying, like, I heard about the run, I was like, I can't just not play basketball. Like, I've played basketball my whole life, so I'm going to keep doing it till I can. This question again, who's your top three NBA player all time? Top three. Top three besides Jordan. All right, besides Jordan. It, okay. Besides Jordan, right? It's right. Jordan, so we just yeah, one. Everyone, Jordan's on everyone's list. Uh, Allen Iverson, first and foremost, that's my favorite player of all time. Uh, since college. Mm -hmm. uh, number two has got to be Jason Kidd. That's who I kind of model my game after, or at, at least try to. Uh, perfect distributor, uh, floor general, uh, great eyesight and court vision. And number three, of course, you two, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, yeah. yeah. Top three, hoop shoes. Hoop shoes, yeah. personal hoop shoes. Yeah. I'm taking this one back to college, back to the 90s. Uh, Nike Airbound, all black. This is like the Fab Five Michigan era. So all black shoes, black socks, baggy shorts. Uh, number two, Allen Iverson, Reebok, question mid. Uh, number three's gotta be the KD-15. KD-15, like, and I got people on it. Like, it's, it's so comfortable. It's, it's the best hoop shoe I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And last thing, you have any message out there that trying to get into basketball? It's, it's just like being creative. You gotta get your shots up. Go out there and do the work. The beauty of basketball is, as long as you have that basketball, you can you can practice shots. You can practice dribbling. Uh, and, and don't be uh, intimidated. Go out there and play. If you play people better than you, that's how you get better. Mm -hmm. So just find your game and say you got next. Kuya Bobby, salamat. I'm Jason Toro. I'm from Quezon City. 32 years old. Where are you here? Leander. Leander, Texas. Texas. Okay. So what made you start playing basketball? Why did you start basketball? When I was in elementary, I was playing basketball. They were with my friends. They were with me to train. That's why I liked this game. Yeah. 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 Wala na eh, hindi na natin ano eh, prime eh. Yeah, papawis na lang. Papawis na lang talaga. Sino ang pinaka top 3 best NBA player para sa'yo? Siyempre, Jordan, Kobe, Lebron. Do you have any other message sa mga batang basketball player? Para sa akin, ano lang, tuloy lang sa pangarap, huwag sumuko. Ano lang, work hard, pray hard, and study hard. Ayos. Salamat. Thank you. Ayos yun na.
Why you gotta ask the age though? Huh? Don't ask the age. Come on, retake. Take two. So this is my this is a brand new purchase. I'm a sneakerhead now. Right. Don't tell my wife. Certified. Don't tell my wife. But I got the J4s right here, baby. <laughs> Shout out to MJ now. Yo, MJ, MJ and his brother Mike. Uh, thank you, Mike, for the birthday gift. I appreciate it. I will cherish these forever. Yeah. I'm um, a birthday, MJ. You know, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how old I am. No way.